All right, guys, Delahiva. This guard is um, is a big one to to master for sure. I think having the basics of the spider and the lasso are really important for this guard, and it's just like the other guards, important not to be stubborn about staying in one position. Um, that being said, you have to be stubborn or fixated or focused on learning how to move in the De La Hiva guard. Um, there's a difference between keeping your hook really tight and being able to hang out there and using it to off balance and transition and, and have threats and uh, as a precursor into other guards as well. So the De La Hiva, uh, most people recognize it by that De La Hiva hook. Um, but there's really big functioning parts outside of that hook that are you, you have to rely on in order to keep using the Delahiva and to develop your Delahiva game. So we're just gonna look right away at what Delahiva looks like. So for the most part, I'm gonna have uh, most people are even gonna use the same foot for the Delahiva. Not not very many people's guards are ambidextrous. You don't use the same. Uh, the same hooks on both sides, but the De La Hiva, I need to be on this angle so that my hook can come and you can actually see You can kind of see my toes on this side. It's the same thing as setting the lasso. If I'm right in front of her I'm not going to be able to have my hook uh, Be strong and inside of the guard. It's super easy to push down here. Okay, so to set my De La Hiva guard I want to be on this angle. I want to have my knee kind of close to my chest and I want to have my toes reaching here. A really important part of the Della Hiva guard that I think people underrate is actually the function of my uh, my thigh against her shin. It's not that my thigh is crossing her shin. It's actually that from my butt cheek to my knee meets her foot to her knee. Okay, so I'm kind of covering this part of her shin and making sure that I don't, I, I, I don't let my knee open up. I'm actually gonna try and turn my knee as much as I can. Mm -hmm. Another important part and function of the Della Hiva hook is the control of the foot. Um, sometimes you can use Della Hiva with the sleeve and the collar, which is really great. Most people are gonna be good about pummeling this foot out, and it's a good control factor for the Della Hiva, okay? So I like to either grab the heel or the pant. I'm probably more likely going to be using the pant just to keep this connection, this uh, hamstring to shin connection tight. I don't want to ever lose this. It's okay for me to lose the hook. I don't have to have this spindly hook, but I do need to be blocking her leg, okay? And I don't want it to be blocking like this where she's pushing her shin on top and actually limiting my hip mobility. I want it to be like this, where my uh, my my hip flexor is not uh, over compromised or overloaded. Okay, so just a few key pointers. I'm gonna make sure that my knee is turning in. If I lose my hook, that which is more than likely, she's gonna push my hook off. That I'm keeping my knee covering her knee. Okay, this is gonna be really important for retaining the Dalhiva. As you will notice in the passing segments, all of Carolina's, Carolina's attacks depend on uh, disengaging the feet and disengaging the hook, and she's always gonna push that hook down. So I, I have to be okay and good with turning my foot up so that my knee and my hamstring is still blocking her and still putting pressure on her leg right here. Okay, if I just let this hook open, then I'm subject to all kinds of passes. Yeah, it's not going to be good for me. Okay, so retaining the De La Hiva guard is going to look a lot like um, the spider with a few changes. So as Carol's just going to start kind of lightly, lightly moving and passing around and moving around, I have to be okay with moving my hooks and my myself around too because I can't just rely on staying right in front of her when she's gonna be moving to pass, okay? So a lot of the work, like I was saying, people recognize the De La Hiva by this hook. 
a lot of the work is actually being doing by my what I call my breaking leg. This foot and leg I call the breaking leg in this guard because it literally puts the brakes on her pass. Okay, so any time that she's she's working to pass, even if I just have this this collar, I don't even have spider. I'm looking to always attach this foot to her body, whether it be the bicep, the shoulder, the hip, or the leg. I want to always make sure I have eyes on this. A really common pass is for her to stuff the foot. Okay, right here, now I'm, I'm in much deeper trouble. Half of my guard has been taken, and my delahiva is not as strong with this side being compromised. Okay, so we're going to look at how to deal with this situation. But first, I want you to, in your roles and when you're practicing the delahiva, I want you to focus on keeping your hamstring and the shin attached, but more importantly, what this foot is doing. Okay, this foot is always going to help me get a better angle on my delahiva. Then I can start going for things like the barabolo, the crab ride, uh, the kiss of the dragon all of those cool, fun, spinning techniques, okay? So first step, uh, delegate retention, I'm keeping my hamstring attached to the shin. I'm keeping my knee in line with her knee, especially if I don't have the hook. If I have the hook, it's a little bit different. There's some space right here, but she's always gonna be breaking my, my hook off. I know this about Coach Carol already, so I'm keeping my knee just attached to her right here until I can get a better angle to reset this. Now I can go for my pant grip, I can go for omoplata attacks, and off balances, okay? The second look we're gonna take is when she eventually does stuff this foot because this shit's gonna get annoying for her. She's gonna be like, okay, I have no choice but to, to do this, okay? So when this happens, let's talk about this grip too. This grip can be anywhere, okay? It just can't be cowboy. You can't be on, on the rodeo. So when she stuffs this, I prefer to have the collar grip so that I have a really nice way to bring her head down and her butt up. See how she immediately put her hand on the mat? Because what I was doing with this hook that she just stuffed, Let's turn this way a little bit, so me... As soon as she stuck it, I'm pulling her posture down and I'm backing my hook up. See this one that she stuck? It's getting backed up with my delahiva and I'm elevating. So I'm squeezing my knees together, extending my feet overhead, and now I can unlock and reset for a really nice delahiva, or I can continue with a sweep there, or a tax. So there's two options. I'm going to always make sure that my foot is doing a lot of the work to keep her off and away from me, okay? If, if it gets really bad and she really starts stuffing this down, I need to then use my delahiva foot to go on her hip and just reset and get back into my delahiva. If she stuffs this leg eventually, I need to hook it up with my delahiva hook, pull her posture down, ass up, and get her over top of me, okay? When, to, to, to finish this, I can take this foot back, put it on the thigh, and reset so that I have a really nice, strong delahiva on this side. If you can see her butt in the delahiva, you're doing something right. This is good, this is a good delahiva. The back is right here, okay? So when you start playing around with this bar, just know that you want to be at this angle to your partner, okay? If she's turning and coming in front of me, I need to do everything with this side, with my breaking foot, to get that angle back, okay? As soon as I get that angle back, I'm going to be making sure that I have a grip of some sort, and then I'm staying off to this angle and on my hip here, okay? I'm keeping the foot, keeping everything tight. All right. So later on in the sessions, we're going to be looking at how to off balance and attack. Right now, retaining the guard is the utmost important thing to do. If you don't know how to retain, you're never going to spend enough time in the guard to know how to attack and off balance properly. So use those concepts when you're looking from spider and lasso and delahiva um, in this next couple weeks that you'll be training. 
to just be able to maintain and hang out in those positions so that you can spend more time learning how to attack from that, from that spot.